And I want to tell this quick story. Anybody here like video games? Play video games? Has everybody noticed that kids, especially kids with attention deficit, can't focus in class for five minutes, but they could play a video game for an hour and a half? And they're intensely involved. And they're getting better and better and moving to higher and higher levels. There's learning going on. There's a lot of amazing things going on. So what's happening in video games that we can't get to happen in our schools? Tell me, in a video game, when you do something right, what happens, typically? You get points, you get lives, you, get, you move levels up, right? Every single time you do something right, you get some sort of reward that tells you you're moving closer to the goal of the next level or whatever. Now, let's say you're playing a driving video game and you're driving on mountainous roads in this video game and you decide, for fun, I'm going to drive off a cliff. So you decide to drive off a cliff. Okay, what happens? What is the video? By the way, does the video game as you're driving off the cliff go, Better not do that. That's going to be bad for you. No. What does the video game response when you drive off the cliff? You die. You die. Game over. Now, does the video game have an announcement that gives you a lecture about the dangers of driving off a cliff? No. Does it give you a timeout equal to one minute for every year you're old? No. Does it tell you you can't restart the game for an hour? Does it let you just start the game right again? And when you do start the game right again, do you work harder to not make that mistake again? Unless you really enjoy driving off cliffs. <laughs> but most of the time, you want to get back to that experience. And my question to you when you think about your schools and your residential facilities is this. Are your classrooms filled with constant validations of the kid's greatness and constant reminders of what's good and constant rewards for doing the right thing? If it is, then the only consequence you have to deliver is the absence of it. If somebody messes up, they get removed from the fun. You see, a lot of our classes right now are not fun. So when the kids are removed, they get a one-on-one -on -one with some crisis counselor, which feeds them and gives them energy. We've got to make our classroom environments filled with validation so that when we say to a kid, you take a time out, they're taking a time out from something they want to get back in. And here's the mind blower. When they get the time out, as soon as they're ready, they come right back in. Why are we keeping them out for extensive time? Get them right back in so that they can get back into that flow. The longer they're out, the more they begin to acclimate to out and, and forget the goodness of what's happening in.